What's up YouTube, it's your girl Spread Blaze and I'm back with another video. If you're new to this channel, I ask that you hit the subscribe button, give me a like, leave a comment down below. Join the Blaze family just because we're a cool family. Come hang out with us. So after a long, long two date change, finally on the 17th of this month, we got a good release or what we thought was a good release. Maybe it's just me. I don't know, but this video, I just, I don't know y'all, I'm just not as happy as I thought I would be, don't get it twisted, I'm happy, but I'm not happy with quality, so we had an original release date, they moved it back, boom, moved it back again, but finally, 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 this past Wednesday, we got the Jordan Hair 6s release. Now this box though is giving me all the life with the carrot on it. Jordan logo white box with the carrot. I'm really digging this box. Um, of course y'all know I wear 10 and a half and man, let's get to this shoe. Now, oh, just in case you was unfortunate enough because they did sell out. I thought they was gonna sit on the shelf because they kept changing the date but they sold out. We opened up this box to get the patented hair design on the paper, which is cool, into the white paper. But I thought that was dope too. So along with the carrot, we got this familiar pattern that we were used to seeing when it came to the hairs. Now, this shoe is nice. Don't get it twisted, but I'm gonna tell you what's my problem. And I'll explain what I'm going through in a few seconds. Yeah, it's definitely sexy. It's really supposed to be a form of red, but I don't know if you can tell on the camera, it does have a, like a hot pink feel to it. I'm sure they're gonna call it some type of red. Let's see if they put it on the box. What red they call this. They didn't. But yeah, it's got more of a pink undertone to it, which is still cool. Um, the box is gray, and I know with this light, oh, there we go, with the light on it. See, so you can see the gray. And it's actually some good material. It's real, 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 real soft and fuzzy. And then the red, you got the yellow. Well, that's really like a burnt orange, like an orangey and green red stopper. We got the design again on the back of the tongue, which is dope. And then the design is also on the insole. You got the hint of the lime green with the purple Jordan on the back. Black shoe tag, bottom of it. Still, it might look red on camera, but it looks hot pink to the eye, the white with the purple joy. Let's jump into why my feelings are kind of hurt with this shoe. First of all, it was long awaited and we was all waiting, waiting, waiting on this shoe. And then I got it and the quality of the shoe. And I know this is probably like the second or third video where I'm unboxing and playing with a shoe. And I'm angry about the quality. To look at the shoe though, if I just showing it to you, I mean, it's perfect. Up top, like at glance. But for me, they gotta do better, man. I don't know if you can tell, but let me just show you just on my shoe if I can get it in there. There's a separation in the shoe. I don't wanna push it to mess it up, but you can only see it. And that's only because I'm looking at the shoe. But for me personally, we can't have these kind of mistakes on the shoe. Quality check didn't go too well. Right here. You see the crack in the paint? Like, it's like a separation. Like, it's, this, this is small detail things that I feel like if you're gonna charge me $207 and some chains for some shoes, this shouldn't happen. Just period. Like, even on the bottom of the sole, like, I don't know if y'all gonna be able to see it. Let's see if we can get it in there. Purple paint on the white. Like, come on, man. Why is we doing this? My Jordan saying got white on it. Like, what happened here? 
How do we have white all in the shoe? Yeah, it's the bottom of the shoe, but I don't give a crap. Just stuff like this don't make me excited about the shoe. Like I got, I just, it angers me when you find stuff, just stuff like this, just as small as them not taking the time to trim up the air with the, like it's just small stuff where they pop the hole in the shoe the leather messed up on it like come on like if you're gonna charge me this kind of money then don't get it wrong um if it's a jordan that come out and i want it i'm gonna pay the money but this is a mini bit session because i feel like for what they charging us for these shoes that quality check should go a little bit better so jordan i'm telling you now they slipping breath out here look at that you see that gap in my soul? Like, dude! It's right here, too. I don't know if you can see it, but come on, man. That's making me mad. Just the quality. I'm excited about it. Look, bro. I even got a hole with the stuff still in it. Like, what? Now I'm gonna have to take some tweezers and take my time and pull it on out like I shouldn't have to do this if I'm paying you matter of fact I'm gonna get it out of my fingernails I'm gonna attempt to anyway I got it I should not have to do this kind of quality check and I'm spending $207 and some change on some shoes like come on bro this is stuff somebody should actually once they finish in the sweatshop making these shoes Somebody should actually do exactly what I do every time I open up some joy. You should get it. You should hold it in your hand. Be very careful now because you don't want to put no fingerprints on them or nothing like that. But you should take it and eyeball that thing. Like turn it around and say, this is unacceptable. Like we can't have that. Like somebody paying $200 for some shoes. We can't have mistakes like that on our shoes. Like we just can't. But nevertheless I got them they're cool I mean it is what it is I'm gonna do and put some shoe rip film in here and set them up and let y'all take a quick look at them no I'm not I'm not I'm not doing that that's too much maybe Look, you can get it. To, you can get into it like this. Here y'all go, just in case you ain't never seen them. Just in case you're not a real Jordan fan, but I know you hear people talking about what's coming out, so now you know. So when people talking to y'all and asking, and you hear them talking about they want a specific Jordan, you've heard them talk about the hairs and the delays, and everybody getting mad. This is exactly the shoe that they were getting mad about because it kept getting delayed. So now you know. The hair sixes. But yeah, this was just a small tennis shoe rant because <sighs> I want you to quality check shoes a little bit better, man. They, 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 you know what I'm saying? I grew up in an era where I've always worn Jordans forever. I, would, I mean, I can remember paying $150. You know what I'm saying? $150, 145 for Jordans. And now... In 2020, we paying 207 and better. So, from somebody who been rocking with y'all, y'all gotta do better, man. We need some better quality check on these shoes, cause yeah, yes I'm complaining, yes I'm ranting, yes I'm still gonna buy Jordans. So don't get it twisted. I'm not, I'm not quitting with that. But I will continue to make videos being pissed off. If you got them, I would, y'all go do a check on y'all shoes and show me if y'all shoes messed up. I mean, me and my cousin Swirl, he was like, oh, you gonna wear them? That's down low, don't nobody know. Like, and I get it. I, you ain't gonna be able to tell when I got them on my feet that all that stuff that I was complaining about, you won't be able to tell. But me looking at them, I can tell. I know. So. It's a problem with me. I know. I feel like everybody else gonna know, which I know they not. Well, y'all know now because I just told y'all, but I know ain't nobody really gonna be looking that deep into my shoes. But let me know in the comments if you copped them or if you missed the cop. 
because I actually thought they was gonna sit on shelves, but they didn't, they actually sold out. So let me know if you got them and look at your prayer and see if your prayer look like mine. See if you got some separation. I don't know. But um, y'all know every time I pick up a cool sneaker, I'll probably come and show it to y'all because I'd be excited about my shoes. You know, I'm thinking about doing a video with um, summer pickups because I kind of switched from Jordans in the summer to like an Air Maxi vibe and Puma's definitely been putting out some good stuff so I think I'm thinking about adding Puma to my list too so maybe I'll do a summertime shoe video just some stuff that I pick up to wear in the summertime I appreciate y'all for watching you know what I'm saying let's take the time out to get into this slim face little neck you know what I'm saying that I also tee this summer ready I'm getting it in I'm slimming down I'm gonna be thin <laughs> if you ain't subscribed to my channel hit the subscribe button give me a like leave a comment down below y'all know the rules around blaze world we live our life to the fullest and we'll always always go be great and until the next video y'all know what it is Thank <laughs> you.